The software that runs the Dubot Magician is called Dubot Studio. This is the, the latest version as of now, uh, version 1.4.13. Uh, you have many different options to run the robot. The one that I plan on using in sim class uh, most of the time is teaching and playback. There's another one called Blockly. Those of you that know how to use Blockly, you can use Blockly uh, to run the robot too. And there are logic and loops, and you can pick these and drag them out. Uh, just like you can with some of the middle school software. This would be a great way, I think, uh, to do stuff with uh, students at the middle school and, and lower levels. To go back, you just hit the exit button. It'll take you back to here. We can also move it with the mouse. We can use our operation panel. If you don't want to save points, you can just basically move it in the X, Y axis, the Z, roll. Uh, so this is just a manual panel to just move the robot around on the table, so you can use it manually. The one I'm going to use most, like I said before, was Teach and Playback. And Teach and Playback, it's pretty much exactly what it is. You teach it points and you play them back. To teach a point, there's a button on the front arm of the robot. You press the button, move the robot to where you want, and it'll save the point. Uh, for instance, if I were to move down to here, if I press the button on my robot arm, move my robot arm, you'll see it just added the point. It tells me my X, Y, Z coordinates. If I don't like those X, Y, Z coordinates, if I want to clean them up a little bit, I, all I have to do is click on them and change them to what I want them to be. So touching up programs just like uh, they do in industry, you can do it with the DoBot. You can change these and, and, and type right in and change the positions. To turn the suction cup, I've got it set on suction cup. You have a gripper attachment, a suction cup, a laser, a pen, and you can do some advanced stuff with, stuff with it. I've got it set for a pick and place, so I've got the suction cup plugged in, and it knows that it's plugged in, and it brings it up here so that I can turn my suction cup on or off. And it's very easy. You click on this, and you can turn it on or you can turn it off. Uh, the suction cup comes with it also. Moves. I can do joint moves. I can do linear moves. I can do jumps, and I can do arcs. Um, all the stuff that I could do is if I had an industrial robot. I can go in and change the name of my points. So this is a simple pick and place. It's home, above pick, at pick, above pick, above place, at place, above place, and home. And I'll just pick up a part and put it down. How to turn, when the suction cup's on, when it's off. R is the rotation angle. And you've got your X, Y, Z positions in the Cartesian coordinates. It's as simple as that. If I wanted to add another point, I click the button, I can type it in uh, over here. I can tell it what type of point I want. I can also set triggers. I can set for, for inputs. I can say, uh, make this trigger on zero. And I can add that into my program in this panel. I can also choose outputs. I can make the robot send outputs and then choose a value. So here's all the outputs and I can choose a value to send it out. It really doesn't have this many because there's a lot of them that are plugged. There are a lot of ports that are plugged in uh, with the peripherals already, but there are plenty uh, for you to be able to do handshaking back and forth. This button allows you to toggle between easy and pro mode, and pro mode will give you all the inputs and outputs. Options over here, I can come down here, slide down, and I can say copy. I can copy that line of code. And then I can go and I can paste that line of code. So if my at pick is used more than once, I can copy it and paste it and move it up and down. I can move it up and down using the move down command, the move up command. Uh, I can delete lines of code. I can insert lines of code. And I can cut lines of code. When I'm all done, I can do a save or a save as. If I want to play my uh, program, I hit start. So as you can see, it's nothing like the Lynx Motion software. It's not video based. It's more industrial based. Other attachments, I can add the linear rail. If I had it attached, it would come up, it would show up here. My home button homes my robot. And when I'm all done, if I save it and I exit, I come back out to my main screen. You can run it with a mouse too. Uh, I have never done any of the laser engraving, although I have one. I think I'm going to make an activity for that. You can add the 3D printer. I don't see ever using that in my classroom. 
um, and you can also make your own applications that go along with it. So it seems like it's a really robust piece of software and the teaching and playback works great. I think I'm going to start playing with the Blockly soon too.